Hi, I'm Joshua Carr. Uh, today I wanted to show you a really neat thing you could do in Excel. Um, it has to do with improving calculational speed. Let's say you have a really complex model, and for purposes of argument, I'm going to make this really simple. I'm going to have two worksheets. First is called Schedule 1, and as you can see, we're borrowing a certain amount of money, there's a certain number of periods, there's an interest rate, there's some payment amount per month, and maybe we have another schedule, and here we're borrowing, say, I don't know, two and a half million dollars over 300 months or something like that. And, you know, two different schedules, right? The first one calculates 12 grand, the second one calculates 16, they're both calculating. The problem is, of course, if you have a really big model with lots of calculations going on, you're going to slow down the model. And what a lot of people do is they say, well, if I have two really complex bits of math, maybe what I could do is I could split them into different workbooks. There is a way to have multiple calculations and multiple worksheets with deep calculations in the same workbook, but selectively turn sheets on or off. So for example, let's say we only wanted to run this schedule, schedule one, and we didn't want to run this schedule. I created a series of buttons using Visual Basic, and usually when you tell people that you're using Visual Basic, they run for the hills, but here's a good example of it. If I pop open Visual Basic, I created three macros. The first one is called off one on two. The second one is on one off two. And the third one is on everything. And as you can see here, it says for the first one, the name of the sheet. Turn, on calcul turn off calculations, the name of the sheet turn on. So if you press off one on two, it turns off this schedule and it turns on that one. If you press on one off two, it turns this one on, it turns that one off. And if you choose on everything, it just turns everything on. So I went here, I went to developer, I created a couple buttons, I went to the button, I hooked the first button up to off one on two, the second button, sorry, the second button on one off two, and the third one, I think you see where this is going, on everything, and here's the fun part, if I go to the first schedule and I turn off schedule one, then even if I change this value to a million, that will not update. But this one, if I change to a million, will update. If I press turn off schedule two, then schedule one, Auto calc, it's calculating, you can see it worked, but now schedule two, if I change that to, I don't know, it's not doing anything. But then if I press controls, turn on everything, now if I make that 300, or I make that 360, it works. So again, the basic idea is you have a couple schedules which are technically complex. Maybe they're slowing down your model. You create some buttons using inserting form controls under developer tab. And then I created three macros, which as we can see here, the macros are turn off the first one, turn on the second, turn on the first one, turn off the second, turn on everything. Look. Normally, I, I, when I talk about Visual Basic to anyone, they run for the hills, but this is a really nice way to basically turn parts of a model on or off, and it's something I use in projects. Hopefully, you found this interesting. Uh, if you're into this sort of stuff, uh, check out my website at carrealestate.com. Uh, there's a bunch of videos, free materials. You get the idea. Okay, well, thanks again, and if you have any ideas for videos, you know, drop me a line.